foghorn had been so loud that it made the hillside shake. No sooner was Percy out of sight, when one rock fell, then another, and another. Before long, the track was blocked, and the foghorn was crushed. Not far away, Thomas was happily puffing right on time. I can't see a thing, said Thomas. And then, before he could even think of anything else... Bust my buffers, cried Thomas. What happened to the foghorn? I don't know, said his driver, but at least nobody's been hurt. Toby will be coming down the line any minute, said his fireman. If there's no fog warning, said Thomas, he'll run into us. Leave it to me, called a voice from the fog. It's Cyril, said Thomas. I hope he's in time. Toby and his coach Henrietta were chuffing along. Toby was looking forward to a well-earned drink at the next station when... Fog detonators, puffed Toby. There must be fog ahead, said his driver. We better slow down. And just around the next bend, with his axle still tingling, Toby was very glad they did. Otherwise, they would have crashed into Thomas's wreck. Soon the tracks were cleared and Thomas was back on the rails. If it hadn't been for Cyril, said Thomas, Toby might have had a worse accident than me. Instead of replacing Cyril with the foghorn, said Sir Topham Hatt, we'll replace the foghorn with Cyril. You're clearly more reliable. Thank you, sir, said Cyril. And thank you, said Toby. New inventions are all very well, said Thomas. But they don't make my axles tingle, said Percy.